and welcome back. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Anything in here? Anything in here? Oh, hey! Boom! Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. You are in control at this point. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Oh, it's not geometry pretty the next impossible. next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. There's that bloody piano again. Here's where we could see that Daniel was a little eager. Thank you. Boom. Again. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. In case you can't tell, what I did there was I pulled out those three books that were highlighted, highlight, summon, uh, during the flashback because I'm impatient. Now here's an example of where there's a note under glass, and we want to get to the note, but the note does not want to be gotten to, so we <laughs> smash it. Altstadt in Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lores, Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, and it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers! This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left, them dis have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap, burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? You know, my first girlfriend I found in the burlap sack. Dragged her over the Andes Mountain. Oh, sorry. Uh, a visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this, this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. 
Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has already has always been se secretive when it came. To, I'm sorry, I cannot speak. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came over from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. That door won't open yet. So in we go to here. In here, nothing. Books. Ooh, note. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded absent -minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brunnenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe, like, maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. And now the key. Key! And over there, now the door is open. Huzzah! Let's see if we'll catch signs of a gap. Yep, there it is. Did you see it? There's a glimpse. Only for a second. It's really better not to look at them. Lowers your sanity. That creepy music starts playing. It's gone. And back to the entrance hall. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. While the caravan moved, the land appeared motionless, but in camp, the hills moved. And here comes Nasty Jam. Stop dropping your Nasty Jam everywhere, Shadow. That is very impolite. Ah! Ah, whoa. Running over that is not a good idea, apparently. It hurts you. Now down here we have the wine cellar and the laboratory. Labor laboratory, I turned British. No offense, British people. And here I shall pause before going into the wine cellar. See you!